How's it going, everybody? Got a new intro here. Gonna try and keep it down sub two minutes. So with that, we'll go ahead and uh, rapid fire a couple things here. Here are the mods. Going down to one targeting as we are getting an AE mod in the future. So for now, just running two siphons to kind of emulate that existence. Everything else here is pretty standard as per my usual setups. And then the succession I've been using in my previous couple videos. And then our main meat and potatoes for the video here, Collective Obligation. The Vow Disciple Raid Pulse, Raid Exotic Pulse, that lets you weak or leech off of Suppressed, Weakened, and Volatile. And once you get all three of those verbs active, the three dots on the side here will all light up. And then once the fourth dot, the big one, is lit up, then you can Special Reload and activate all three of those verbs on every burst of the weapon. The nice thing about that is that the suppression verb on this weapon will suppress supers mid-animation and in super. I did it to a golden gun yesterday as of the day of this uploading. I was stunned it actually worked because I was figuring it was going to do what Bombardiers does. Alright, and then super and all that. I will let you go and pause this, the video now and then look at all of the mods here if you want. And then with that, uh, a couple questions here, or a couple a couple things. I do have a Discord. The link is down below if you want to come stop by and hang out. I do plan on doing some community events here starting next week, probably. And so if you want to come stop by and participate in those, link is down below. Uh, there will be a dim link to this down in the description as well. And then my final question to you guys, the viewers, do you have Collective Obligation? Do you use it in PvE or PvP? And then would you like me to post a follow-up to this where I, or perhaps at the end of the video, where I show you two other builds that you could run the Collective Obligation with to do probably even more? Let me know in the comments below, and with that, I'll put you in the gameplay. Have a good one. All right, we got a Wormhaven match. We're using the Collective Obligation, not to be confused for Collective Action, which is the damage perk. This weapon, if you are informed, or if you know, is the Vow of the Disciple Raid Pulse Rifle that feeds off of Void debuff verbs. So Volatile, Weaken, and Suppress. Or suppress. Suppression. Or Suppress. Either way, however you want to go about that. So the best way to get this proc in PvP is to suppress a target and then, well, kill said target or get enough bullets in to proc that fourth larger dot at the bottom of the site. Now, here I can proc it, find an enemy within the, the five seconds of time here and make enemies volatile. It's a very fun little gimmick that you can use. But it does require a bit of patience and or over aggression. So kinda up to you. Alright, so the ace is on the left. It ran off. If I drop down, so the lemon arc is still over there. That's what I was wondering about. Didn't hit the headshot, which is unfortunate, but we got that. Take that out of the field. Alright, so we proc two of them, but I have to find him and hit him more before the perk goes, or the perk deactivates. That's the hard part. Because if you hit them and they have the ability to jump away, because you took a lot of damage either from an SMG or pulse or hand cannon, you probably won't get the perk active because they have either A, better movement to get out, their team rolls up on them because of run to blue, which both sides should be playing and I should be doing that, but like I said in my last video, I'm a walking bad idea. I don't do that. 
I still think plays versus the entire team is possible, just really, really hard. Or with the right gimmick setup, you could do it pretty easily. It's just a matter of finding the thing that works. There we go. All right. Peek that doorway. I was hoping to get a little more use out of that, but that was pretty much it. Next goal will be to try to proc that when supers are coming up. Because if we can do that, that would be absolutely awesome. Because this, unlike the suppression from Bombardiers, can suppress Guardians out of super. I didn't record it, nor could I clip it, because my clipping software broke again. And it's recording my side monitor. But yesterday, I was playing a game with this, and I got the suppression up, and I suppressed a golden gun right out of his super. It was awesome. I watched him shove his little gun into the air, and then I watched him put it back in his pocket. We can take advantage of that. Also, I guess I may not have mentioned this, but if you get any kind of debuff or like buff for yourself, so devour. Ooh, nice. Ah, well, okay, fair enough. But if you get any kind of uh, buff going, overshield, devour, etc. For yourself, it'll full reload the weapon, which is honestly very nice. It'll throw me off on occasion because I'll be low on magazine and then like devour will proc, and I'll just be like, wait a second, where where reload? Excellent, we got it going again. So now we're gonna check super bar, see what we've got, and then honestly, I think we're just gonna go ahead and use it just to get and use it. I think this space gives us like the perfect spot to use it. Nah, my team all pushed in there. Dang. And I guess another thing I didn't mention about this too, is that if you acquire a, or if you are debuffed by an opposing guardian using Void, you gain said debuff at max charge. So then you can go right back into using it in the next second. So let's say Void Titan because they're everywhere currently. Or a Gear Falcon Hunter because they're taking it into PvP with Elsie's rifle. You can turn that volatile rounds that they have right back against them and just absolutely stun their team. Wanna slide? Don't get me stuck on the floor. Alright. Bonk. Alright, now we're gonna turn around and go to the other side. What I did with the super there is highly unlikely to happen again, but I'm honestly glad it did because that is something that you probably already well enough know about. It's just that you probably won't see often because of conditional finality, etc. Exactly. We were just, I was just talking about that. Like, you'll see that conditional will take you out of that. So you kind of need to be able to do that behind cover and then just hope that the tracking works for you. There we go. 
We'll go back outside. Assuming he dropped down. He did indeed. Necrochasm has the faster rate of fire with consistency at my range, too. Ah, there's another one there. It's unfortunate for me. Alright, let's see if we can get another proc, maybe a volatile this time, using the shield. No burning effects, I think. Nope. I would have needed to hip fire that, and that would have been a chance that it works. Would have been awesome, but I doubt it would have actually gone through and worked. Nope. Okay. He's, okay, he's in the tunnel. That's why I heard it. And it's going a little insane there. Ah, he came from behind me. Gotcha. Kind of hoping my teammates would have had him there. But I guess he's moving a little fast. But we've only got the one, which is the Striker Titan. That's who I thought that Amplified was, if I'm being all, in all honesty. Okay, here we go. Rock. Push forward. Press. Throw shield. No tag. This is on the right. Okay, and we turn around. Hip fire. No hip fire. Okay, well, that in itself there was actually solid. I like that match. We got the suppression, we got the whole kit going too. No super suppresses, which, oh well, but I hope that shows it off pretty well.